do a, uh, a, a role play kind of, yeah, you can close that. I kind of want to do a role playing on how I go into a house. So I'm going to set this scenario. Um, Tommy calls Laika. He calls our, he sees our website. He calls and uh, house is worth 120, right? And he says he wants 75,000, okay? And he owns it free and clear. And you inherited this property from a family member, right? So this is how I come to a house. So I, we didn't script this, but I'm here. Boom, boom, knock on the door. Hey, how's it going? You Max? Yeah, how, how you doing, sir? Right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, you too, man. You nice too. looking house you got here. Yeah, man, this is, uh, I'll tell you, man, this is, uh, it's kind of sad, you know, we have some family yeah. passed away, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it breaks my heart. I got a lot of memories in here, but, you know, it's time to go. It's time to move Did on. you live in this house? You know, I didn't live in here, but it was my, my aunt's house. Okay. And uh, I do have a lot of members there, like, you know, family cookouts, birthday parties, those type of things. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's kind of hard, and sometimes it's encumbrassing when you just, a property falls in your lap. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It, I mean, you know. As you can see, there, you know, there's some problems. You know, we got a little leaking. I'll be honest yeah. with you, right? Well, let's 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 go around and look at it. Let's yeah, go around right. and look at it. All right, cool. Uh, I mean, well, you can see the water stains here. Yep. That's uh, not that bad, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I guess. I mean, it's not that bad, but obviously, if, I mean, if that's there, there's something going on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I want to be upfront with you. You know. Yeah. I, mean, I want to be real with you. Uh, so, but you know, I mean, besides that, I think I think it's a pretty yeah. pretty good house. Now, I mean, you know, we got a little stuff here and there, but I mean, you can see here the floor looks pretty decent. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 okay. It's, it's outdated a little bit. The kitchens look outdated. The bath look outdated. Now, remember, guys, the house is worth one twenty, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little outdated, but uh, I mean, I mean, I think it's workable, right? I mean. Yeah. We, it, it is workable. Now, let me, t let me tell you what we do, okay. right? We're a group of four investors local here to Winston-Salem. Right. And we buy houses for mainly two, two different reasons. We'll buy a house and we'll fix it up a little bit and we'll add it to our rental portfolio. Mm -hmm. Now, the second what we've been doing a lot lately is we buy a house, completely fix it up, make it modernized, right? 2018. And we try to get it on the market in the next six months, okay. right? So this house, if you, had to, if you had to take a you know, guess, what do you think this house is good for our rental portfolio or do you think we can flip this house? I mean, you know, I think this is either one, man. Like, I, I mean, I can see a family living in here for yeah. sure, like like my aunt did. Um, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. Now, you know, I think on this market, I think, you know, we can get probably 109 pushing it. You know. Really? I, I, are you sure? Like, I, I looked on Zillow, and you know, it looked like it was. Yeah, I wish Zillow was correct all the time. You know, but if this is about 109 pushing. Now, if we do push the envelope and put granite countertops in, which is not normal for a house this price, you will probably get a little bit more. But, you know, I got to compete with other houses that people are putting 120000 in to buy a brand new house. So I got to make this house look brand new, right? Okay. okay. But you know what? I, I don't think you run out of options. You know, I think if you want to get the highest dollar, I think you should list this with a realtor. I should listen with a realtor? Yeah, I think I mean, you... Well, if I listen, I mean, why am I? Well, I mean, you I want... You, right? yeah, yeah, but you want to get the most out of this property, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I like to, you know, get a fair amount. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, you know, if you can take out a loan for maybe 30, 45 grand, which I think it's going to take, you fix it up. In yeah, six months, you put it on. That's, I mean, I, don't, I kind of want to just get done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I okay. don't want to have to owe every single month. We got other things. You know, I don't live here. I understand. I worry about people breaking in. I don't want to, you know. Well, here's the thing. I, I'm an investor. Right. And, and my thing is based on numbers. And I just don't think we're in the same page when it comes to, to selling this house. And, and it's fine. You know what? I go to a lot of houses. I and mean, when I leave here, I got two more appointments. I mean, but what, what number what number are you, are you looking at? Though? What are you talking about? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say. I would. What do you what do you what do you need out of this deal? I mean, what are you comfortable? What's what's the perfect scenario for you? What are you going to do with the money? You're saying it's worth one oh nine. I mean, I think I mean, if I can get 80 or so, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. But here, here's a scenario. And I, and I understand why you want 80. It makes sense. One oh nine. There's a big discount. But Francis and I are going to go in this house, and we're going to spend thirty, maybe forty thousand dollars to get it to look like a house. From now, think about this: you and your wife are driving around, and you got a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars to spend. You want it to look like a house in two thousand eighteen, right? So that's kind of what we're up against when we're flipping properties. I wish it was easy as as, as on TV, but it's it's really not that easy. So eighty thousand dollars is is not going to put me in there because think about it: from eighty to put, let's just say a minimum, I put thirty in it. I'm at 110. So there's no money for us. That's why I think yeah. the best option for you is maybe you get that hard money loan, 
or you know, I got I got phone numbers of about five or six realtors that have come here and well, take a look I mean, at it. I mean, I shot you an offer. What 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 can you do? I don't I don't really want to insult you. I kind of want to find out what is your perfect scenario. You know, tell me tell me what you gotta have. And here's the difference between a lot of people. I buy houses, okay. right? So you know, the the thing is, I'm not gonna. The offer I give you, or the offer we just decide on, it's what you're going to walk away with. I'm going to pay all the closing costs. Okay, right? so you're going to take care of the closing costs. Yeah, the number we agree on, that's the number you're going to walk out the attorney's office minus a couple hundred bucks for some excise tax fees that, you know, I can't take care of for you. All right. How quickly, how quickly can you close on this? You know, here's a scenario how it works. So you and I agree on a price. I'm going to bring $100 escrow to the attorney's office. This, this, I, that may basically I hire him at that point. He starts a title search, probably takes him anywhere from seven to 10 days. Then we get on this calendar. I say all together three weeks, but you know, on the contract, I like to put 30 days because I've lost the property because we have, weren't able to get on the attorney's calendar fast enough. So I put 30, but we're probably closing 20. So you think you could close in less than 30 days? Absolutely. I know I can. You know you can. I know I can. And it's cat. And you know, listen, you never have to come back here. You don't have to take anything out of the house you don't want. Ask you, yeah. yeah, you leave anything you don't want, we'll take care of the rest. Okay. Um, man. So, less than 30 days, we're done. I'll have to be nothing. It, it'll be the smoothest transaction you've ever had. And like I, I said, we do this 10 times a month. If we can get it done quick, I think I might be willing to do 50, 55. <laughs> I'm, I might not be your guy, and and I and I don't want to insult you. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to insult you just because I got to put 30, 40 grand in there, and you I'm at ninety. That at least need much room. And I know you're thinking and it's easy, but I'm I'm really at about forty thousand. Forty. You do forty-two. It'll be tough. It'd be tough, but you know what? I get it done. Let's 42. do forty-two. All right. So now you guys seen that. That's a hundred. It's a hundred and twenty thousand dollar deal. But here's what I want to explain to you. I didn't give him an offer until I knew he was ready to sign the contract. I gave him every option. He sold me the house. I didn't buy it. He, he convinced me to buy the house. And that's what you don't want to go into a house as a desperate buyer. Right. You that just changes. I, I, I gave him a scenario. Listen, you can go list it. I can get you a guy for a hard money. I can't get him a hard money loan. I can get him for a hard money loan. There's all these other options that he has. And he's upset because he called me to get what? An offer. I got the carrot that I want to hang over his head. And I'm not going to give up that carrot too early in the conversation. And I, I would say a good point is like you didn't make offer. He made the offer. I made him make three offers. So he went from 80 to 50. I said, listen, I'm at 40. I'm good at 45 on this property without even doing the math. I already know. Right. So that is the difference in between going in a house. Now you know how to talk to somebody. Huh? Well, yeah, I know numbers, but you, you should have already done your homework before you got here. Right. So if this house do, do the math, so let me bring out a calculator. This house is one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Remember, we talked about that. One hundred twenty. But I told him it was one oh nine. So 120, remember I, I, I purchase on this number and I sell on this number. So let's talk about what we really need to be at. You're at 120, right? You're gonna minus 30%. What, what does that leave us, guys? 84. 80, all right, so we're same, okay. 30,000 rehab. How much does that leave us? 10 grand in profit. <laughs> I got it for 42. And I'm gonna call them and ask for a reduction in six days. You see what I'm saying? I didn't even have to think about that. And that is how you go into a house as a confident buyer. That I don't need this house, but if you want to sell it, I'm the guy to buy it. Right? Because the prep conversation for me coming here is that I'm not here to look at houses. I'm here to buy a house. You want to show your house, put it on the market. A lot of people come looking through it. I don't want to come to just see your house. I'm coming to buy that thing. That's how you close deals. It's called the going negative. Right? Because most people would have gone in there and they would have threw out the offer. Then they started negotiating. Then you lost. 
If you start negotiating with that guy at 80 grand, you've lost. You know you need to be at 45. You're not going to get somebody from here to there. I started negotiating when he got to 50. And I felt that he was, he was so desperate he wanted to sign that contract, I threw out my offer. I threw out 40, knowing that if he said 45, I'd take it. And he said 42. And I didn't argue with him because he won. You see that? I gave 40. He said 42. He walked away happy, baby. I, I, I got him. He go in the car. He said, baby, I got him. He offered me 40. I said, I need 42. And he said, baby, I got it. <laughs> right? So he won. He just made an extra two grand. I made an extra three. Right? So that is, that's, that's sales, right? And you guys are back there selling cars. I hope they taught you that. You never want to push a sale. You never want to push a sale. You always want to be behind. You ever, always want to be behind the person. You never want to push them to a, to a sale. Right? I don't need this house. That's my attitude. Remember, that's not that bad. That's not, the, my, my, my money came from, I got to update the house. Yes, your cabinets look great. But they're 1984 cabinets. I got to put all white ones in here. And, I'm, and I, I flipped the script on his perspective. Imagine if you and your wife were shopping with 120 grand. Would you buy these cabinets? I got to make them look like brand new. So yes, your house is not in disrepair, but it's outdated. You get them every time, I'm telling you. People, because he, that 80 he threw out there when he was on the phone, that was BS. He ain't want 80. If I gave him 80, he would have been happy. But he knows, because he read the website, that we're investors. And, and 109 to 80, and you see how I anchored him at 109? That's called anchoring. I made him agree. We agreed. See, if you don't agree on the starting price, then you'll never end up at the same ending price. Because if he thought the house was 120, and I said 109, we're 11 grand apart. My offer would have had to have been 52 for it to make sense. So that's it. That's how you go in there and close a deal.